is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, uh, and today's episode is all about Dynamite Daniel Dubois, who scored uh, Saturday, he scored a, a ridiculously absurd uh, second-round knockout over Ricardo Sh- Snyder's, I guess we'll say, um, to move his record to 15-0, and 0, uh, 14 wins by knockout. Every win he has uh, comes by way of knockout, except for Kevin Johnson, which is which is interesting. Um, but he's the future of the heavyweight division. He's just 22 years old. Um, I mean, he's already a top 10 heavyweight. I mean, uh, he's got the blowout win over Nathan Gorman, uh, but he also has wins over Larte, Fujimoto, uh, Kevin Johnson. He's got – and he beat an uh, unbeaten – DL Jones. So he, he's got wins. He's got high caliber wins. Um, I, so what's next, right? He, he knocked Snyder's out, knocked him out in the second round, knocked him down four times in all of 200 seconds, right? Four, t- four times and just over, you know, three times in the first round and then immediately again in the second round, which uh, ended the fight. I haven't seen a heavyweight this good. I can't even think this good at this young of an age since like Tyson. It's been that long. He's that dominant. He is the future of the heavyweight division. It's just a matter of when he becomes the heavyweight champion because he will run this division. Um, you know, look at heavyweight now. They usually go 36, 37 years old and they're still fine. He's got 15 years left, um, you know, on, on that trajectory. He could be here for Riddick Bow was the other one that comes to mind. Another heavyweight that ran through a division really, really young. Um, but he's on that kind of trajectory. Uh, Daniel Dubois, there's nothing not like around him. He's big, strong, athletic for a guy that size. Um, you know, freakish power. He destroyed Gorman in the Battle of Unbeaten. This guy's the future. This guy's the future. Um, so why are we spending a show on him today? You know, the, the knockout was nice, but it was over his Uber driver. So what's, what's the significance? The significance is what's next. His name is being linked to two former unified champs. Um, the first one we'll get to. Let's take. Like Holyfield or David Hay, where you want to spend some time to bulk him up, you don't want to do that with Usyk. The cruiserweight version of Usyk is gonna what is what you're gonna see at the heavyweight version. You're gonna see a 215 pound, smallish heavyweight, short armed, but with tremendous skill. The most skilled heavyweight in the division, even more so than than Fury. Usyk is tremendously skilled, and I think right now he could beat AJ. He could beat Wilder. He may be able to beat Fury, although Fury six. I, I don't know how that would go. I, I'd pick him to beat the other two guys. You know, I'd pick him to beat basically anyone else in the division. Uh, as of right now, I'd still pick him to beat Dubois, but that time is ticking. Uh, look, this is a great fight. Let, let's make this fight. And again, this has a lot of caveats. This is if AJ vacates the WBO belt, it means he refuses to fight Usyk, which isn't out of the round, but it hasn't happened yet, and it's not. Really, there's no smoke to that fire. It's not impossible, right? It's not even that unlikely that it's silly to talk about. It could happen, right? Like, he, he's got a lot of belts to defend. He, if he wants to fight uh, Fury, he may have to make a belt. It would likely be the WBO. 
Um, Usyk's number one. Dubois number three. That makes sense. Why don't you mandate that fight? Um, is Dubois ready? Right. So Dubois is going to beat Joe Joyce. You would think in the interim, right? I mean, look, if he can get this fight instead of Joe Joyce, which wouldn't happen because you know it would. It's going to be months down the road, and the Joe Joyce fight should happen before the end of the year, from what I'm hearing, um, or January of 2021. So that's his next fight, and he's going to destroy slow molasses Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is is, is it fundamentally sound, big, strong, heavyweight with some power, but he is so slow. Usyk, uh, Dubois will just steamroll him, and I think it'd be quick work too, just because of how slow Dubois is. Um, if after that, if AJ wants to vacate the belt. Guys, uh, Dubois versus Usyk is going to be an incredible heavyweight fight. Um, again, I think Usyk is uniquely skilled as a heavyweight. Again, we're not going to bulk him up. You don't want him to lose his dexterity, his flexibility, his mobility. right? You want to keep him where he's at. You want to keep him the same size um, because that's his advantage. right? And he's a big cruiserweight. You know, If he comes in 215 to 220, that's – what Wilder put some of his fights at. I mean, with his skills, he should be fine. I'm not comparing him to Roy Jones, but Roy Jones beat Ruiz. And I don't, Roy Jones is right around 200 pounds. Um, I don't have him with a lot, but you know, but he, you know, he's 215, 220. He will be smaller, small ish, but I think this is, you know, he's so, he's so much better. He's so much more skilled than Anthony Joshua. I think he outboxes Joshua. And he, I think he outboxes Wilder. So, I mean, these are the, and, and his time is now, right? I mean, he's already in his 30s, he's got a couple of years left. Um, and he needs to make this run now. He's been inactive since the Baloo fight. He's fought just one since then. It's been almost two years. Um, but this is the time, and I think he can beat these guys. Dubois would be the fascinating one because Dubois is such a machine. Um, I don't know if Dubois – it might be just too soon for Dubois. He might be just too green. Like Usyk might be catching him at just the right time. Um, or maybe it's not, right? Like um, Gorman was supposed to be a good fight. Lots of people picked Gorman, and he – Blue outcome. So just how good is Dubois? We're not going to find that out um, against Joe Joyce. because we, we know that he's good, and he's going to blow Joe Joyce out. So that's not going to change anything, right? Like, we thought he was good. We thought he'd beat Joe Joyce, and he blows Joe Joyce out. That's not going to change our mind on anything. If he does fight Usyk for the vacant WBO belt, 22, 23 years old, it's going to be the start of something special. There's also one other rumored fight that we want to get into. This one is also very interesting. I mean, Warren wants to make this fight. He wants to make it soon because, look, the quicker he gets Warren these major fights, the quicker he bails himself out of trouble. We know what's going on with Frank Warren. We know what's going on um, with Queensberry Promotions. This is his financial bailout here, right? This is like what Canelo is to Oscar. I put once I get to bottom of that level, I have a star. I can put him in with, with Fury again. I don't know that he beats Fury. I don't know that he beats Usyk. I think he beats AJ. I think he beats Wilder. He's that good. Guys, if you haven't gotten to watch him, take a look at him. I don't think this fight's going to happen. I think there's too much. I, I think AJ loses the title before that comes to pass, right? Like I, I think if, Uj, if, if AJ beats Pulev, I think after that, if AJ fights Tyson Fury, he loses. If AJ fights Usyk, he loses. So I don't think this fight's going to happen. Um, if, if he 
beats Fury, keeps Tyler, and then fights Dubois, that's the only possibility I see. What I'm saying is I don't see AJ keeping. I think he loses to Fury. I think he loses to Usyk. And I think he loses to uh, Dubois, all three of them. Uh, but I don't think Dubois gets the shot. I don't think Dubois is the one that dethrones him. Now, if Fury beats him, um, maybe Dubois fights AJ following that, right? Like If AJ loses to Fury, then maybe AJ fights Dubois in some high-level British fight. Although I don't think that would happen either. Um I, so I don't see Dubois getting a shot with AJ right away, although I would love to see it. I would even pick Dubois. I think AJ, I'm sorry, I think Dubois should probably try to go the route of, of fighting Usyk. Um, if AJ vacates the WBO, if not, I don't know who's going to want to fight this guy. He's that good. He's a physical beast. He's strong. He knocks everyone out. He's just exploding at 22. I mean, a lot of people... I mean, this kid may not even have his man strength yet is what I'm saying. Have a way to develop later. This is not even the best version of him. And I think he already beats these guys. So we could truly be looking at something really, really special here with Dubois. Um, but go back, watch this fight against Gorman. Uh, watch his fight against uh, Ebenezer Tete, who was also undefeated. Um, Fujimoto and uh, Schneiders. And like, look at what we're seeing here. We are seeing something develop here. And, like, look, I know he's 22, and that is usually way young to be mentioning names like Usyk and AJ. But the kid's ready. I mean, this, the, the future is now, right? Um, like, there's just a certain point. where, Like, in the NBA, you, you see the Greek freak or, or – or, Donovan Mitchell, he's like, okay, it's ready. This guy's ready to be the best now. I don't care how old he is, how inexperienced he is. He's that good. That's what you have with Dubois. He's a, he's he's freakishly good, and he's going to run through this division. Is it now or is it in two or three years? I don't know, but he can already beat most guys. Let me know what you think on Dubois. Let me know if you think the Usyk fight or the AJ fight is realistic for 2021. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. And let me know who you think would win that fight. Uh, please remember uh, to like, share, and subscribe this on all forms of social media. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications every time we go live. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.